everybody. It has come to my attention that people have been showing a lot of interest in the Mech Commander Gold and Mech Commander Darkest Hours modded campaigns as of late, uh, but are having some trouble running the software on modern systems. There's a couple of tricks we can do to get these to run properly, um, but before I get into that, I would like to explain why it is not running natively on modern systems. Mech Commander Gold and the modded campaign that's built around it was originally coded for 32-bit architecture systems. So things older than, I think XP was the first that had a true 64-bit uh, version of the OS, but it was much later in its lifetime. Um, regardless, this was originally built for Windows 98 and 2000. Um, so it's a fairly old game um, that is not going to run properly from disk um, as intended uh, when the game first came out. So with modern systems, um, even with the disk, you can still do part of this, but you will need a Mech Commander Gold ISO. In order to mount that ISO, I'm going to use Power ISO. You can use other software such as Daemon Tools or or uh, I don't even really know of any other other than those two myself personally, um, but any other image mounting software that you prefer you can use. For the sake of this tutorial, however, I am going to be using Power ISO because that is what I prefer. So in order to start, you're going to need to go to PowerISO.com. On the home page, there's going to be a download button. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to the downloads, and you want to download Power ISO version 7.6, 64-bit. Once you have that, because Mech Commander Gold is considered abandonware, you can head over to another website or the one I prefer, which is myabandonware.com, and search for Mech Commander. And when you search for Mech Commander, you're actually going to get two results: Mech Commander Gold and Mech Commander 2. The same methods that we're using for Mech Commander Gold will work for Mech Commander 2. Once you get to the Mech Commander Gold uh, download page by clicking on the um, screenshots that it shows there, uh, if you click on download here, you're going to be given a couple of different options. You're going to be given a RIP version or an ISO version with two different uh, mirrors available in the UK and in Germany. I've already went ahead and downloaded this, but after we get to that, we're going to require, for those of you who want to play the Darkest Hours modded campaign, the Darkest Hours files. You can get these off of a couple of different websites. I prefer to use the original posting site, which would be nogutsnogalaxy.net, and uh, just go to Risen's forum post here. Click on Download Mech Commander Gold Darkest Hours 4.0 from my Google Drive, and this will send you to Risen's Google Drive. Once you click on Download, It'll pop up with this window here saying that Google Drive cannot scan this file for viruses because it's too large. Um, that is fine. It is a 1.2 gigabyte file, so I hope you folks who are interested in this do have a pretty sturdy internet. After you get that downloaded, go ahead and install Power ISO. Um, I've already got it installed, so it's a pretty typical setup. There is going to be an offer for some bundled adware. Um, just go ahead and select Decline on those terms of services once they pop up. Um, because if you don't, you could get some McAfee or some other junk, uh, downloaded. It might get flagged by Windows, um, as potentially malicious software. That's fine. Go ahead and tell it to install anyway. Once you install Power ISO, you're going to want to reboot your computer because without doing that, you cannot mount virtual drives. Once your computer reboots, you want to launch Power ISO, and it's going to pop up and say that you're running an unregistered version. That's totally fine. Wait for the countdown to finish and click on Continue Unregistered. From here, you want to go to Tools, Virtual Drive, and then Set Number of Drives, and make sure there's at least one virtual drive enabled. From here, you can actually close it. With the Mech Commander Gold ISO you downloaded, you're going to want to right click on that file, go to Power ISO, mount image to whatever your virtual drive is. I don't have a physical disk, uh, CD drive in this one, 
So my in is going to end up being drive D. Once that is done, you're going to want to go to your file explorer. And in your file explorer, this is where you can, if you have the CD version, do this portion without the ISO. So you're going to want to go to this PC. From this PC, you're going to want to locate where your uh, CD or ISO is mounted. In this case, for me, it is drive D for my virtual drive. You're going to want to right click and there should be an option that either says explore or open. Once you do that, you will have access to all the contents of the disk. From here, you want to make a folder either on your desktop or wherever you're going to be running Met Commander Gold from. So not another disk or, or somewhere in your hard drive. Um, go ahead and make a folder, label it either MCG, Met Commander Gold, whichever you prefer. And then you're going to want to highlight all the contents of the disk and then click and drag them into the new folder you just created. Once you do that and that finishes, it's only about 500 megabytes of data, so it shouldn't take too long. You will have now a folder with all of the contents that were on that disk. This is everything you need to run the game outside of the um, ISO file. Now, for the Darkest Hours version, there is going to be a um, zip file or a RAR that will download with it. Um, you just want to unpack that or unzip it somewhere on your desktop or in another drive on your computer where you're going to be running the mod from. From there, it contains just about all of the same stuff. The only thing that's any different is all of the files required for the mods. From there, for either the standard Met Commander Gold or for the modded campaign, you just want to go ahead and select the mcx.exe to go ahead and run the game. Now, this is going to launch the game in its default 640 by 480 resolution, which is for those of you who have been watching my Let's Play that I've been kind of slacking on. I do apologize for that. I'll have a new episode up soon. Um, is what I have been recording in so far has been the 640 by 480 and then scaling it up to 2560 by 1440 or 2K for those of you who don't understand the resolution conversion there. Um, now, the 480 is 480i, so that's very, very, very standard base definition. Um, the files Risen includes here are for a couple of different resolutions, but as you'll see, oh, it launched it in windowed mode. Um, this is a common issue you'll see sometimes um, when running this, if you have the disk version and are just doing a disk from ISO uh, version, like I said, where you can just copy the files from the disk, the splash screens will be miscolored. Um, Dogger, he blew up good. Dogger, he blew up good. Okay. Um, the menus will be all miscolored, but the actual gameplay will be fine. Um, the other issue here is, let me go ahead and put this in the full screen. This is the 1920 by 1080 version. You will see that the menu is still 640 by 480. But... Command interface initiated. Incoming Once you get into an actual mission, it will go full on full screen. However, with much higher resolutions, you will see that there's these areas over here in the corners that are all kind of like ghosty and screwy, um, and everything is very super tiny. Well, while that is now a 1920 by 1080 texture resolution, and the game will play normal, um, your, your normal view is, is pretty far out there. And your zoom in view kind of looks like it did, you probably remember it rather. Um, on top of that, there's the, well, well when you're zoomed in at 1920 by 1080, you don't see them. Um, but when you zoom back out, you'll see those corners again where they're kind of screwy. There is uh, a couple ways to defeat this. One is to play them in 
Windowed mode? Oh, actually, no. With the 1920x1080 version, the windowed mode still does it. So let me go ahead and I'll close this. Uh, I believe it was 1280 by 768 was the resolution I found that would run it with no problem. For some reason, it's launching a windowed mode for me every time. Um, if it does it for you, once you get to the main menu, just hold the Alt button and press Enter, and it forces it to play in full screen. Okay, now, and this is not the proper resolution. It might be the one below it. 1280 by 600. Oh no, this is the one that crashed on me all the time. Right. Okay, so 1280 by 600 crashes all the time, and it actually hard locks the uh, executable, so you need to end it with Task Manager. I can't remember which. It might have been the 1024 by 768 was perfect. I think so. So let's cancel that and go to full screen. Yes, this is the one that ends up perfect as far as the corners are concerned. Um, my recording might have black bars here where the mouse is unable to go through on both sides. Um, but if you're playing it on your modern 16 by 9 screen, it'll still fill it 16 by 9. Um, so textures may be a little stretched uh, left and right, uh, you know, width-wise, um, but they still should be okay. So let's go and go into original merge. Command interface initiated. Incoming transmission. So and as you can see, we're still experiencing the smaller menu with all this dead black space over here. That is unfortunately just a limitation of the software. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll begin the mission. And you can see in full screen, there's no weird corners, and you're still getting a higher resolution. See, zooming in, you still get nice, well, for the time, I would say, crisp textures. Um, but everything should be fine at this resolution, uh, as far as the um, ghosting in the corners go. If that's something that concerns you, if not, then more power to you. However, I do need to show you something real quick up here. For those of you who haven't seen my Let's Play yet, um, there are a couple of issues with even... Well, this is the Darkest Hours version. Um, let's kill that. But as you can see, some sprites here and there, pretty rare, will have missing pieces. And as far as I'm aware, Risen does know about this uh, for the modded version. Uh, so you will have to just deal with it for now until it comes out with a fix. I know the 4.0 version was released sometime last year. I'm in contact with him, I don't want to say too often, but we do kind of keep in contact with each other, and he said that he is working on fixing some of this stuff. So there you go, folks. That is it. Um, relatively easy to get playing uh, with this older, older game that's a much beloved classic. And for those of you who haven't already, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of my Let's Play of Mech Commander Gold Darkest Hours that I will be continuing to work on here very shortly. Stay frosty, Mech Warriors.